Cases of human wildlife conflict, a common in parts of the country as towns and farmland, continue to be developed across wildlife migration routes. In a Naivashe, farmers from Mirera village have threatened to kill the tens of wild animals that continue to invade their farms in the last couple of months. The peasant farmers say they have suffered for months with no solution forthcoming from authorities despite their numerous call for help. Hapo halibiwa mali zetu hata mashamba yetu. Hata tukiwaita wanao shugulikia wanyama hata kupatikana hawawezi patikana. Na wakati wanapo tokea kuja na kukagua vile wanyama wameharibu uh, watu wale hata kuonekana tena hata mtu aadikishe hata aadikishe mara kumi hawawezi patikana hata tena hata zile namba wanatuka wanatupatia namba hizo huonekana kama ni saburi za kurokotwa hivyo kwa sababu unapowapigia hakuna wowote ambaye anapatikana the residents say majority of the wildlife had fled from nearby Mount Longonot National Park in search of pasture and water leading to the destruction of their crops. Mani usiku tunasanya tumelima mashamba zetu, hizo nyati zinaingia, twiga zinakula miti na mahali nyati zimeingilia nazo zebra zinapitia hapo. Na afisi akipata nini kondoo nje anafetua yote hatupati chochote. Watoto wetu kwenda shule hapa shule ziko scattered shule yenye iko karibu sana ni Longonot ama Mirera ama Kamoyo na ni mbali sana wakati wa, wanaenda shule tunashikilianga tu kwa maombi juu tuna hatujui watapatana na nini kwa jia in the same script, different cast in like keep here with residents of Mikenji village, Marmamet Ward, calling on the county government and the Kenya Wildlife Service to come to their aid, saying the invasion of wildlife has adversely affected their way of life. Kayote tumeka hapa, tunaishi na dofu kama, kama ni kwa unyumbani wako. Tukika kila wakati, eh, as, usiku ikifika saa moja, tunadofu unyumbani kwetu. Wanabuwa muama store. Wakati wengine mwingine wanabomoa hata manyumba ikiwa watu wako ndani mahari ma, mahindi imewekwa pande ile zinatoa fears of a food shortage have hit the area following the destruction of food granaries the residents accusing a contractor erecting a 54 kilometer electric fence of carrying out a shoddy job ndio kwa kwa miaka mingi sana na wakati uhuru alikuja akatupatia 200 million yenye tunajua sisi tukiulizwa tulipatiwa 200 million ya kuweka ua Na tulikuwa tunatarajia kwa sababu ni KWS itaweka uwa ya standard. Mimi nigetaka national government ifuatiriwe, ifuatiria ijabo kwa sababu contractor sijui kama ni yule anajua kabisa, sijui kama ni expert kwa sababu ameweka uwa abadea, ameka, ameka uwa kule kuingina anasema, lakini sijui hii na ni ya strands kumi kwa nini dofu inakata. In the latest incident, the animals are said to have strayed from the nearby Rumuruti forest, wreaking havoc by destroying three granaries where maize worth thousands of shillings was destroyed. Caroline Kamar reporting for Channel One Lunchtime News.